Good morning again, everyone. Um, okay, so today, I guess right now I'm going to go over the files subcategory under the Plesk 9.0 control panel. Um, and the reason this is my second section is because um, typically after you're done installing an application, um, you most likely want to customize your pages, uh, folders, you want to get familiarized with your file system. And that is what the file section does for you. As you can see, I clicked on the, the name file. Uh, keep in mind, everything I'm doing is within the Vista theme of the 9.0 control panel. But this creates, this is a hidden tab, which creates um, a backup, which you could also do by going by going through here as well. I just wanted to click on that so that way you have, um, you have an idea of what it does look like under that. So file manager is the most um, popular when it comes to um, viewing your file system and managing files and folders within your environment, within your website or your domain name. Um, so as you can see, we're running the Linux. This is this is hosted on the Linux box. So these are your typical um, files and folders. HTTP docs is for a non-SSL or non-secure website, while HTTPS docs is for a secure website. So assuming you were um, running, you know, an e-commerce website where you process your credit cards yourself, you know, your website will most likely be stored there, you know. Uh, with a security certificate and all that, but this is a public website and uh, this is actually built just for our examples. So you have uh, that folder. Also, if you're running um, Perl, Perl or CGI scripts, those go into your CGI bin. Um, advanced uh, programmers would recognize that on the Linux environment. The rest uh, you don't really need to know. <laughs> So let's go into HTTP docs and um, this takes us to our file system, our files and folders on our website. Um, Plesk stats, um, you know, this stores statistics for your website which you can pull up and, and I will go through in my earlier, I mean, I guess in my future video tutorials. Um, Index.html which is the default page when a domain name is called, especially on a Linux environment. If you were in a Windows environment, it would be default.html. But, sorry, default.asp. But uh, we are in a Linux environment, so this is your first or your, um, I guess for the most part, your landing page um, in layman's terms. And these are your files and folders. Uh, this install has the YSIM or the GUI to make changes to each page. So you have um, this wonderful tabs right here that allow you to view a page and make changes to the page based on what you clicked on. Um, obviously this is a flash site so um, nothing actually pops up right there. If we were to go back and we clicked on index, we clicked on the little pen or pencil. This actually edits our page in a text text file format, while this edits the page in a GUI format, you know, where you can see pictures and all the fun stuff. But this is where we programmers love to go. Edit. And this gives you the raw codes in a text format. And here you can make changes to a page, to any page you have on your website within your HTTP docs folder. Let's go back. Um, this also tells you the file size for each file or folder within your website. This also tells you the user, tells you the root, tells you the date it was created, and this tells you what permissions you have. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with certain programs or applications you want to install and it says you should C mode a certain file or folder this is where you do that this is where you um, uh, this is where you allow or give read write or execute permissions to files or folders and it's as easy as clicking on that 
and you can and give permissions to the owner, the group, or others, you know, to read, to write, or to execute. So that pretty much covers, you know, your file system within your file manager. If we were to go back to our main tab, you also have a really nice feature for 9.0, which is the added protected, uh, sorry, add protected directory, which allows you to create uh, a secure directory, uh, which uses the HT T access to protect the directory from on allowed access, um, giving you the ability to restrict access to certain folders you want. Let's go back out. Um, you have your backup manager, like I said earlier. Um, here you can, you know, back up your website, you know, databases and all. So say you are switching host accounts, you wanted to back up all your information and move to a different host account. Here you would do that. You can also schedule um, backups to be done, you know, say every every day, every week, monthly, you know, whatever tickles your fancy. However way you want to protect your information or store your information. Um, Teresa's events has got nothing because this is a test site um, which you don't need but I would strongly advise to use um, some form of backup for your website because you never know when uh, your information might be lost uh, or compromised um, so that's that for the backup section um, this website uh, does not allow uh, secure shell access which is um, accessing your website via um, command line root um, this is not allowed on this website that's why it's grayed out and also anonymously logging on to your file transfer protocol which is also your FTP is not allowed on this domain so that's why both of them are grayed out um, so that that pretty much covers this section um, I hope that was uh, educational for you Thank you again for listening and have a wonderful day.